Well, hello there again, ladies and gentlemen. Two things. Thing the first, I wasn't expecting I was going to stream again today, but um, I figured why not. Thing the second, I wasn't thinking I was going to do Breath of the Wild so soon after doing it yesterday, but... Why not? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I now feel like I'm getting close to cluing up everything in this game, and I had a lot of fun playing it yesterday, so why not carry on? So, my plan for today is mostly I'm just gonna try to deal with a few things in terms of side quests. Like, the, uh, I've got a pile of, uh, shrine quests I need to take care of. <clears throat> and there's a bunch of side quests that I haven't done yet either. But, um, I think what I'll do is I'll focus on the Terrytown thing for now. But mostly what that's going to entail is me going down to Gerudo Town. And I may as well do whatever random things I can do down there while I'm at it. Because as I was saying yesterday, apparently there's a quest line I can do to get the Thunder Helm back. Which, I mean, it's probably not going to be of terrible use to me anymore, but still, it's nice to get it for completionist's sake. But firstly, I need to find a Gerudo, who is a tailor, whose name ends in Sun. Were this not a world that operates under video game logic, it would be next to impossible to find somebody of that description. But, it is a world that operates under video game logic, it being a video game, so guaranteed there's one kicking around somewhere. I seem to recall there actually was a, um, there was a clothing store in here that gave you different colors of, uh, this Gerudo garb. Wow, you, you have a strong and commanding voice. Have I talked to you before? Hmm. I've been watching. And I feel safe saying there's no one suspicious around here. But the survivors of the Yiga clan could show their faces here any mo at any moment. We have to be ready when they do. <laughs> the desert's just monsters and bad sandstorms through and through. They call it a wasteland for a reason. But what else is a man supposed to do if he wants to meet Gerudo ladies? Wasteland, here I come! The Emporium is open. What are you selling? Nothing I really... Well, I may as well buy some arrows. I don't have very money, to be honest. <laughs> ah! Now, do we have anything new going on in here since I left? I believe the tailor shop was over here, yes. No, I've already talked to you. How about you? What do you have to say? Nelly. Another beautiful morning. My roommate Pri and Pritana used to go out on the town and loud <laughs> and loudly get home really late at night. Cause she's a raging alcoholic. Between that and the divine beast stomping, I never I really never got a good night's sleep. <laughs> but ever since the divine beast was calmed, I wake up feeling totally refreshed. Though my roommate is still a lush. <laughs> little Naboros, little Naboros, Nor Naboros, haven't you seen the thing? It's acting all calm and proper now, I wonder what happened. Anyway, it looks like I'll be getting more customers, so I've got to do my best too. At least want to get an ice cold something from the canteen. <laughs> um, that doorway isn't for customers, actually. If you remember, please head around to the door on the side. Oh yeah, the secret club. I never did figure out how the hell to get in there. Oh. Um. 
F. Oh. R. Mm -hmm. A. Mm -hmm. Fra! Why not get both? The, fuck? the Divine Beast has quieted down now, so maybe this town will return to its old, lively self. I'd better be ready. Ah. <laughs> the Gerudo keep their skin so beautiful thanks to the mushrooms that grow here. It'd really be a waste if you left Gerudo town without taking some of these mushrooms with you. So, did you. The, does it work by you eating it, or do you just rub it into your skin? I don't understand. Oh. Stomp, stomp. He went over there. I wonder if he's done stomping. Bazak. Have I seen you before? I don't remember seeing you. Hey, lady. Be sure to buy a lot of stuff, okay? I really recommend bomb arrows. If you shoot them at something, <laughs> boom! It's amazing. I see, I would have assumed the lady I was looking for would have been hanging out by the tailor shop, but then again, maybe she's inside, and if she's inside, I need a membership. And if I need a membership, I need to find out what the password is. The Grim, Nali, Tana. Isha, Kara. Okay, let's head up to the bar. Maybe they have something new to tell me. Unlikely, but you never know. Was that Furiosa? No. Although, I mean, you know, desert. Ah. I tell her how old you are, but this place is definitely not for a young Vi. Because the drinks we make here are different from regular drinks. For one, they have a rare treat in them. Ice. Ah. I need a huge amount of ice to make that drink, and I'm fresh out right now. Besides, it's a really strong drink. Even if I could make it, I wouldn't sell it to a v little Vi like you. Oh yeah, that's right, because I found a Gerudo lady out in the desert basically dying. <laughs> in front of a shrine. So yeah, this is one thing I can do. What'd you say? Pocky's collapsed. Mm. Mm, I want to help her out, but I can't make a you-know-what without ice. There's ice at the ice house, but my legs aren't in the best shape for hauling ice. Should I get it for you? Ooh. Are you serious? You'll get it. That'd be a huge help. Pocky is my best customer, after all. I wish I could get the ice myself. Anyway, the ice house is north of town. Anche manages it, but I think if you explain the situation, she'll let you have some ice. Mm. You should know that she heads to bed quite early. If you plan to go, you'll need to get there while it's bright out. Oh, oh young lady. Carrying ice all the way through the desert and then all the way to town? I can't let that stand. If you bring the ice to the entrance of the uh, to the entrance to the ruins between town and the ice house, I can take it from there. We need to go to the ice house ice house north, north of Gerudo Town and ask Ange to give you some ice. You can only get Ange's help while spread out, though. So is that going to show me where that is?
the ice house is up there on the other end of these ruins, which is full of frigging uh, <laughs> Lizzlefos. I think I'll rove around town for a little bit more and maybe rest up and uh, check that out in the morning. Stupid foe. Who needs them? <laughs> Thanks to that divine beast, I'd been unable to get home for so long that I'd forgotten my actual address. Hey, this isn't a joke! Password for you oh. where? Seriously, why wow, that place is a little crazy, isn't it? Mm. Huh? <laughs> I wonder if I was able to. Ah, hell, let's try it. Maybe I can overhear them if they can't uh, see me. Sneaky bastard. <laughs> I don't think it works like that, though. Link is not the stealthiest of folks. Now, maybe if I deal with this situation with the, uh, ice and noble pursuit. What are you doing? Growing a fruit garden, then I can eat fruit until my tummy gets full right up. I haven't figured out what the want to plant here yet, though. Fair enough. Hmm... Still daylight out, so I'll run out, I suppose. And that was a lizard. I don't know what kind of lizard. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't even really see the divine beast from my post here. But now that the divine beast is gone. Oh. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of the Sand Seal races. As a matter of fact, I won them. I am true champion. Uh, where are my sand boots? There we go. Honestly, it mightn't have been a bad idea to, uh... Oh shit, I'm too hot. Um, there we go, that's better. Too warm. So maybe I should have gotten a sand seal to come out here, but uh, nah, nah, I should be okay. Still a bit of a ways till sundown, so I might be okay. Ha, screw you. I think I need the tail for uh, upgrading a certain type of armor. I'm not sure which, though. Okay, so she said I need to bring it to the entrance of the ruins, but does she mean the entrance closest to the ice house or the entrance closest to town?
I guess we'll soon see, won't we? I didn't even know the ice house was up here, to be honest, although... Boom, there you go. Kind of looks like a giant turtle. Interesting that I've never been here before. Yep, that's ice. She says as she points at it. Oh. This is an ice house store. Bah, let's try that again. This is an ice house used for storing the ice brought down from the mountains. Seeing as we live in a desert, it's pretty important stuff for us, Gerardo. So I guard this, uh, guard the ice house 24 hours a day, except for when I'm sleeping. In which case, anyone can steal as much as they want. Oh. I see. Well, if Yoroso wants ice, then you should bring her some. You're permitted to take some ice. You've taken the heat into account, right? If you move too slowly, the ice will surely melt. Furosa has no use for water. I wonder if I equip uh, one of those ice weapons I have, will that prolong the ice? I have to carry the ice block back to Furosa, who waits at the exit of the ruins north of town. With the blazing heat of the desert, it'll be a challenge to get back without the ice melting. Also, I wonder if I do the- well, no. I can't really do it at night because she'll only be here during the day. Gotta love that artificial increased, uh, difficulty. Anyway, like I said, let's break out... ...this. If I'm really fortunate, that'll lower my temperature enough that, uh, hopefully, <laughs> the ice won't melt. And I'm gonna have to go around so I don't deal with the friggin' Lizzlefos. Although, if I was smart, I should have just killed the damn things on my way down. I got some weird crackling in my headset there for a minute. Oh god, I hope this isn't crapping out on me. You don't see me, Lizzlefos. I'm not here. Just a man, half-dressed as a lady, carrying a block of ice. It's, it's perfectly common. Of course, the other thing, too, is I can imagine trying to do this without the sand boots would be a pain in the hole. Oh, well, that's the other thing, too, if I run in the shade. What didn't I think of that? This way! Bring the ice over here! Mwah. Hmm? You're... Well, whatever. I don't care who you are as long as you... as long as I get my ice. Ah. Looks like the ice is in good shape. Sarkso. With this, I'll be able to make the ultimate noble pursuit. Sorry, but, uh, but could you please let Pocky know? Tell her that I made the best one ever, and I've got it waiting for her. Ah. 
Knowing her, she'll probably come running when she hears that there's an amazing drink with her name on it. Oh, never mind, she's probably dying of heat stroke in the middle of the desert. As soon as she hears that her favorite beverage is ready. Then again, I can't say anything, I'd probably be no different. Pocky had collapsed in front of the shrine. Now where's the closest fast travel point? Well, there's in the middle of that maze there, but that'd be a pain in the hole. Honestly, the easiest thing for me to do would probably be to go back into town and, uh... Yeah, go back into town and get myself a sand seal. Of course, I can always sneak up on and grab one of these. Which I may end up doing, actually. Because I'm too damn cheap to pay 20 rupees, apparently. <laughs> you don't see nothing. Oh. Grab! Haha! <laughs> Attack your fellow seal! Mm, let's break out that uh, spear again, maybe. No, I still got a... Still got a torch on me, too, that I don't really need. Ride this friggin' seal ragged. Almost there. So I better dress up or I'm going to freeze to death. There we go. That'll do. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Seal. Uh... Ugh. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to rot here. Actually... <laughs> I got you some booze. Or, she's got you some booze. Mm -hmm. eh? Did you say best noble pursuit ever? Pff, I am gone! Mm. Honestly, I thought she was going to go full-on Sonic the Hedgehog out of here. Oh! <laughs> See, the funny thing about this is most of the other shrines that are like this have a specific challenge that you need to meet before you get in. And that's why there's no puzzle or anything here. But this one wasn't particularly designed that way. It just had a random Gyarado passed out on the control console. Meaning this is the lamest shrine ever, technically. Diamond?
You have done well to reach this shrine. You have achieved the uh, daunting task of getting a Gerudo woman liquored up. Which, considering she seemed like she was a bit of a lush anyway, it doesn't seem like it was that much of a feat. But it just further shows that you can bring someone back from the brink of death with the right drink. Now, was there anything up here? I don't think I climbed up here last time I was here. Plenty of these mushrooms. Rush rooms, pardon. Might as well grab as many of them as I can. One thing I've learned after spending so much time playing this game is never turn down grabbing anything. Practically every item you find is useful to some degree or another. I bet you there's a Korok! Surprise. Okay, I think I've been over in those ruins before. Well, actually, it's an easy way to check. I've kind of been over in those ruins before. Uh, I imagine there's nothing I really want over there right now. Let's travel back and um, take a poke around. I gotta figure out how to get into that secret club, dammit. I get the feeling the uh, Gerudo I'm looking for might be in there. If nothing else, I should go see if Pocky made, made her way to get her desired drink. So I still find it odd that even after everything I've done for these people, they won't let me in. <laughs> I still have to go in under disguise. Though I think a lot of them are well aware who I am by this point. Sava, sava. <sighs> okay, you're still the same lady I was talking to before, right? I was kind of, kind of hoping that she'd say something different, seeing as how I tried to walk into the building. And yeah, that's still you again. You. Risa. Old lady sleeping outside, apparently. Sava, sava. Mm? Oh dear. <laughs> you definitely don't look old enough to drink here yet. How old are you, really? I'm over a hundred! Which is not a lie. <laughs> what a funny vibe you are. When you're older, let's have a drink together. I want one now. I ask you, Furosa, is there anything better than a taste of noble pursuit? Oh. You were at death's door and you ran all the way here for that! Good grief, you're in incredible shape. Does that mean you don't plan to investigate that shrine anymore? Mm. Definitely. I never dreamed that kind of work would be so dull. <sighs> I'm not surprised you found it dull. That sort of thing isn't really you. 
Ah. Uh. Yeah. You know what really is me? Shrinking. Basak. Oh. A sock, little Hillian Vi. I've heard people beyond our walls were cold, but you don't seem to be. Be sure to come back when you're all grown up. I'll help you celebrate with a noble pursuit. <laughs> Maybe there still is a way. Like, th it looks like there's a room behind them. Maybe I can... Again, I'm, I'm still thinking I need to overhear their conversation to be able to... You know, to be able to get into that place. Nice glasses. Yes, yes, she's wearing glasses. Mm. When the symbols of the Seven find their place, the Blessed Path will be revealed. Well, we know the place it's referring to, I just need to finish deciphering the full text. Mm. Yeah, we'll find out once I decipher more of the text. I'm not sure if this is related, but it said that the heroines held powers that were part of a bigger whole. Each heroine had a different power. Skill, spirit, endurance, knowledge, flight, motion, and gentleness. I didn't think gentleness would be a power, but okay. They all look the same to me. Oh yeah, that's the statues. Wait. I don't know, that's just a thing I was thinking there. Oh. Pearl. Oh, you're that foreign Vi. Savsapa. Uh, night after night, the voices of the people in the can- <laughs> The can't inter- the can't eat her come right in my window. They're super loud. If you stand under the window, you can hear everything they're saying. Ah! When I grow up, I'm always going to speak in a quiet voice. Even if I'm having a really great time. This is a terrible place for a child to live. You're right next door to a bar. Ha <laughs> Ah. Uh. What was up with that little Hillian Vi earlier, anyway? Ah, uh, uh, forget her. Just hurry up and tell us the password, Yaido. <laughs> oh, that's right, the password. I hear it's GSC Diamond. <laughs> I overheard Sala talking about it, so I'm sure that's right. GSC Diamond? Okay. Okay, GSC Diamond. I just have to remember that. <laughs> GSC Diamond? What could that... Oh, I get it. Gerardo Secret Club. GSC. What's the... Uh, what's the diamond at the end mean? Mm. Who knows? That's not much of a password if the password is just your club's initials. Really? Hey! Clearly they weren't planning that through. Diamond. Oh. All right, you can come in. Oh. Hey, I haven't seen your face around here before. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a rare visitor. Guess I have a suspicious mind. So maybe you don't ask too many questions, and I won't either. You're a member here now, so thanks for your patronage. Sava, sava. Elsewhere I might say Savota or Savak, but here it's always Sava Sava. What is this place? Oh. This is the Gerudo Secret Club, or GSC for short. This is the only shop in Gerudo Town where someone could buy clothes meant for Vota. Ooh! 
Despite it being illegal to sell vo clothing in this town, there is a high demand for such things. <laughs> I've never seen a vo disguise himself as a vi like you have, though. Well, she saw through me right away, didn't she? <laughs> we each have something to hide, I suppose. Let's ignore that and move on to business. Oh. That's a special one, made using luminous stone. Interested, you need to trade me the materials. Oh, and there's a handling fee, too. Radiant tights, radiant shirt. I basically turn into a glowing skeleton. <laughs> Also, isn't this where the door should be? Ah, Desert Foe. Armor for males sold rarely by Gerudo retailers. It contains sapphire, which can harness the power of ice to make hot climates more tolerable. And here I am with a severe lack of money yet again. I can get some of this stuff anyway. Oh. This shirt is sold at the Gerudo Secret Club. It glows with a strange pattern in the dark due to a dye made from crushed luminous stones. <laughs> And the bright light of the sun doesn't agree with me. I haven't paid my respects to it for so many years. Oh. What does she mean by something rare, I wonder? Uh, what have I got that I can sell you that I'm not going to worry too much about parting with? I don't want to sell too many of the... Things. Chummies. Guardian parts, there we go. And I don't want to sell too many of my precious stones either. Honestly, there's a lot of stuff I've got that, um... See, I don't want to sell any of this because... <laughs> I've got a shitload of these spicy peppers that I pretty much never use. Sell her 40 of them. They're not worth much, but... Every little bit counts, I guess. I got a shitload of Mighty Bananas, too. Sell her... Uh, 50 of them. And... Sell her a bunch of these Hillian Shrooms. Like five of them. I got a lot of mighty thistles. Thistle. Yeah, sure, these many. She, she was really excited about those for some reason. God knows why. Yeah, I've got to go on, like, a wicked mining expedition at some point. <laughs> Get a pile more things that I can sell, because I'm going to want so much of this for crafting purposes, too, I guess. Mm, yeah, let's sell her some of these luminous stones as well, because I've got loads. Well, not that many. Maybe I'll just sell her ten. Because I do still need some to, uh... 
actually make the shit. So there's some of these. I got loads of Guardian parts, but I don't really want to sell those just in case I need them. Okay, so I've got a full set of those, and I can at the very least buy the headband. Oh. And I'll come back at a later date to get the rest. Oh. Now I can be a spooky, scary skeleton. Okay, so that leads me to believe that, yeah, she legit does mean, like, the door on the side, but it doesn't look like the two areas are connected. Not really. Mm. Okay, now I'm slightly confused. I expected there was a Gyarados woman in the town that I needed to find, but I could be mistaken. She might be somewhere else. And, of course, the... Quest log probably isn't going to direct me to her. Yeah, because it's probably going to direct me straight back to Terrytown. And the true killer of it is, I've probably already talked to whoever it is I need to find before. I just can't remember where the hell she is. Asha Dina Ashai. Would you be interested in my cooking class? I'm sure, even with what you may already know if you're in travels, you'd learn something from my class. Your marriage suit. Two heart-shaped vegetables. <sighs> dubious food. When you're cooking, if you add insects or monster materials, you'll end up with dubious food. Well, if you ask me, there's nothing dubious about how absolutely inedible it is. People really crave home cooking. Huh. Rather than designing an elaborate meal, it's sometimes better to make something quick using a few homemade ingredients. Hmm. Should really write that down. Okay, so what were the other things you said in that recipe? Fresh milk, volt, fruit, hydromelon. And two heart-shaped vegetables, which I think would be a radish, wouldn't it? Okay, so milk, volt, fruit, and hydromelon. need to find a cook pot though is the thing. <laughs> I expect my ferry will arrive any day now. Kinda sound a bit like Tingle.
I thought I saw a cook pot around somewhere, but I could be mistaken. You're not going to hear any gratitude from me. Got too wrapped up in coaching my subordinates and fell behind, is all. As a member of the Gerudo, it is my duty to prevent something like this from ever happening again. It better not get in the way? Uh. Mm. <laughs> oh. I'd love to. That's reassuring to hear. However, I already spoke with the chief about you. You're on a very important mission, aren't you? I think I've already spoken to them about this, but... Oh, hey! A lot happened, but we are truly indebted to you. Champion's arms are treasures of the Gerudo, much like the Thunderhelm. If anything happens to them, you must let me know immediately. About that. Don't bother with excuses. I can see it in your face. You've lost the scimitar of the Seven. It broke! It snapped off in a moblin's hide or something. I can't believe you'd lose such a precious item, entrusted to you by the chief, no less. Shouldn't be surprised. I suppose nothing is accomplished by discussing it further, so what do you want to do? One diamond, five flint, and that okay then. It's the treasure of the Gerudo, the Thunderhelm! may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you freedom to lay your hands on the pride of our people. Be calm yourself, Beleria. You desire this helm? I want it! I see. And yet, despite the great debt we owe you, I cannot just give such a precious thing to you. Mm. But you are up against the enemy of Lady Urbosa. And if you truly desire it, then perhaps I can lend it to you. Yes, lend it to me. Well then, let's see how serious you are. This helm is a cultural treasure. To earn it, you must gain the trust of our people. I want you to address their concerns and bring a resolute peace to our town. We already know that you are powerful, but you can't solve all my people's problems with power alone. Meet you. I've been called by that name in a while. That strong, warm voice that must blind to Rebosa. Oh? Such insolence! Even deeds as valorous as yours do not earn you the right to speak so to the chief! Oh. Mm hmm. Let it go, Bellaria. Being called by my name every once in a while isn't so bad. Okay, so by that I assume I need to solve all the uh, side quests in this area, but, um, hmm. I do not recall what all of those were. I thought I suppose this seven heroines one could uh, count. And I'll just carry on as normal, I guess. I seem to recall there was a Gerudo woman hanging out up on top of the walls. I don't know if she's the one I'm looking for. Possibly not. Yeah, she's just up here gorging on melons. Uh-huh. 
Ne. Yeah, I'm beginning to think that the uh, one I'm looking for to move into Terrytown is not here. Perhaps down by the Oasis, I'll check that place out. And if I can't find her down there, I think I might just move on to other things. at the same time I can see if I can make that uh, recipe. Yeah, what was that again? That was milk, uh, hydromelon, volt fruit, and possibly radish. Yeah, I didn't think I was sneaky enough. Pretty sure I have some uh, volt fruit in my inventory, but if not, I should be able to pick one up off of this cactus over here. One would hope. <laughs> oh no, I'm burning to death! <laughs> Sorry, right, I'm not really going to be out in heat for too much longer. Because I think uh, the temperature is uh, a bit more manageable over here by the oasis. Maybe. <laughs> Hi, who are you? <laughs> oh, it's you. I've already spoken to you. Yeah, there we go. As suspected, the temperature has become more manageable. Okay, so one volt fruit. Hydromelon. Fresh milk, and... Two hearty radishes, maybe? Or do I need a big hearty radish? I'm not sure. Well, I guess we'll find out now, won't we? <laughs> yep. Creamy heart soup. Enjoying this sweet soup with another person will bring you both closer together. Ooh. Hobson, Benja, that pot is slowly rolling away. No, it's that guy. Yeah. 
You're not the one I'm looking for. And highly unlikely it's you. How about you? Yes! <laughs> I have found her! Her name ends in Sun. I'm assuming this is the person I'm looking for. What a cute Vi. Are you out seeking the love of your life as well? But I'm not wearing the full... Garb. Okay. Yes. Well, good luck to both of us. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Oh, I guess I need to be in full Link mode if I'm going to be talking to her. Go to Terrytown. That's presuming this is the person I'm looking for, and it isn't a coincidence that her name ends in Son. Let's put on my glowy clothes. Kind of makes... No, it's not it kind of makes Link look like a luchador. I think it's supposed to make Link look like a luchador. <laughs> hmm. What? Uh... Mm -hmm. You... You're a Vo, aren't you? I am. Hmm... Mm -hmm. No, I bet Mama would have a problem with a delicate Vo like you. Oh. oh, yes, I'm Ronson. I hail from Gerudo Town. Oh. This search for the love of my life. I'm so exhausted by it. Sounds rough. Uh, I don't even know why I'm saying this. It's no business of a Hillian like you, but... I'm constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found the love of my life. Exactly. Since it's so rare for a Vo to be born to a Gerudo, we seek out husbands from be from the world beyond Gerudo Town. I've proven myself to be a gifted tailor, but none of the Vo I've met seem to appreciate a well-hemmed garment. I was hoping my craft would help me find a mate, but it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. I know a man. Go to Terrytown. Hmm? What is it? So abrupt, too. Let me hear the details. <laughs> and now uh, oh, I'm just picturing this uh, conversation turns into a wrestling match on account of... Wait, that he... he's even wearing a championship belt. Oh, God. <laughs> it just turns into a wrestling ma uh, match and uh, Link hops up on top of this friggin' awning and does like a frog splash on her or something. <laughs> Hudson and Terrytown needs a tailor. It's something, I suppose. The Akala region is kind of far away, but maybe I need to travel, getting far away from a village full of Vi. <sighs> it's not like I'm accomplishing anything by staying here. I can continue my search in Terrytown. Thanks for all the information. I'm going to go home and pack a huge bag. It'll be a long journey all the way there. I'll no doubt see you again in Terrytown. Well, so far, all we've got there in terms of men are Hudson and a giant Goron man. You can take your pick between the two, if you wish. <laughs> I love that costume. Um... Anyway, I'll head back in the Gerudo town with the creamy heart soup. And give it to a shy, I believe her name was. And uh, then after that, I think I might uh, leave off, you know, whatever's going on down here and just head back up to Terrytown and we'll see what the next thing I need to do there is. After that, maybe do some uh, shrine quests. I've got a bunch of them built up, and I know a couple um, where I can where I can go to get a couple. I haven't gone up to Mount Lanayru yet, and I know there's one up there.
course, I just need to track down wherever the hell Ashai is now. Because she teaches a class there, and she also teaches a class over yonder. So, I'll have to go over here and see if she's over there instead. Hey, there's two Gorns! Ooh. Savak! See? I can do it right! Oh. Hmm? Wait a minute. Didn't I meet you at the Karakara Bazaar? Or was it someone else? I think Shaw's other classroom was over here, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's you. No, I've already. Oh. Do you already care deeply for someone? Uh. These young Vi have never even met a Vo before. It's my duty to help prepare them for what they'll encounter in the world beyond Gerudo Town, good and bad. Hey, you weren't in here before. Who the hell are you? Holy shit, it's Tracy! I've read all of your books, or at least most of them. The Gerudo are surprisingly serious. And that's all you have to say? I, I'm almost positive this is the first time. This th this is the first time I've ever run into her. She's not very talkative in person, though, is she? Anyway, let's fast travel on up to uh, Terrytown again. Let's see what the next task Hudson has for me is. Probably to gather more wood, but there's a forest not too far from Terrytown. I can <laughs> go down and use the Master Sword to do some clear cutting. Most useful weapon for it. It doesn't break. Matter of fact, if there's a couple of trees between here and there, I might do that. Bigger trees than that. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a fairy fountain there. Not really one I go to very often. Ah, there she is over there. Oh, she's also selling the uh, Desert Vo clothing. Vasa. Did you need me for something? Savak! Oh? Traditional Gerudo clothing. How nostalgic. Please take your time looking. This armor was all handmade, by the way. Oh, she might not even recognize me. <laughs> Hold on now. Uh, I should probably sort this stuff. There we go. This music is hilarious. <laughs> yes, Savak, that is correct. Don't you remember me? I'm Ronson. Well, I'm the one who sent you here, so I certainly hope I do. I, I've had to mend, mend Hudson's work clothes every single day. It's impressive how quickly he wears them down. Besides the holes, they reek so much of sweat, it's actually pretty rough to work on them. I tried to bring it up to him, but he got defensive almost immediately. You know, I came out here to continue my search for a husband. I wonder if he's the only kind of Voe I'll find.
and see, you know, story logic dictates, even though she doesn't seem too keen on them right now. They're, they're, they're gonna fall for each other, right? You can guarantee that's gonna happen. Ooh. Hey! I found someone from the Gerudo. Thank you. I was able to patch every last hole in my work clothes before I could blink. She's pretty, uh, amazing. And since her name is Ronson, I have no objections. I hear she's decided to continue putting her skills to use by opening a clothing shop. You should stop by and say hello. Mm. Well, next is... So before more people can move here, we need more homes for them to live in. Can you bring me 30 bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. I could chop down the trees around town, but that would seem unseemly. Hey, there's a raft down there. Now let's break out uh, the Master Sword and head down there and chop up some trees. And Guardians, because there's also Guardians down there. Master Sword is running low on energy. Because I am misusing I'm misusing it so terribly. Which of course is funny because I'm probably gonna Like I was phasing a leg through that thing. Surprise! Oh crap. <laughs> Not surprising enough. Oh, the Master Sword is broken. Um, you don't like this either. Too slow. Oh crap, another one sees me. I just wanted to cut some trees. Just wanted to cut some trees. Yeah. Why's that worked? <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> That's one down. Apparently the most dangerous job in Hyrule is Lumberjack. Uh, 
that's another weapon down. Uh, what have I got that I can use against it now? Better roll this thing. No, actually not that, because let's be honest, the uh, Guardian weapons are the best thing to use against this, if not the Master Sword. So, attack! Fight fire with fire! Guardian perch is lying all over the damn place. I love broken my master sword. What's the next best thing to cut down trees with? Well, I haven't broken the master sword, but uh, well, the durability for this royal claymore is pretty high. Maybe I'll use that. cut down the really big trees, right? No, I cannot. Oh, if only. Uh, how much do you say? Uh, I think he said I needed 30. We gotta do like a mass deforestation campaign over here. Of course, the truly funny thing is, I think I've been doing this a really stupid way anyway, because I think I can just knock over the trees with bombs, can't I? Well, as it is, I need to unequip all this stuff, because if not, I'll get wrecked by lightning. Explosive deforestation, though I nearly hit myself with that tree. Oh yeah, these guys. the Master Sword to recharge. That'd be nice. I could just turn and fight the things, but I don't know. I've already wasted enough weapon durability just cutting down wood. Okay, seven more. Oh, 
Oh, cool. I Apparently, if you try to uh, form one of those things when you jump, you just drop it. It's good to know. Oh, I guess that tree can't be knocked down. All right. Can't catch me, jerk! Good to know. Pieces of wood. Two more. Oh, I think that's it. Alright, cool. I was just gonna climb that cliff straight back to Terrytown, but... What with the deluge? Of rain, I'm not going to be able to do that. Of course, it is night and it is dark out, so I'm going to want to take a look at that armor. See how well it glows in the dark. Spooky skeleton link! Now, I kind of get the feeling I'm going to need luminous stone to upgrade this stuff, too, so... I have to carry on with more mining. Hey, look, there's Kilton again. I guess he must show up at every point he possibly can on a given night. Kilton. Do people ever go inside? Hudson did all this work building these houses for you, and you don't use them. Hey! You want to get into a wrestling match? No, probably not. <laughs> nope. No, yeah, yeah. You're a lifesaver. Well, next is... It's finally starting to look like a town around here, which is exactly why we need to set up some distribution. I'd like to get a general store up and running, but there's no one with the connections and qualifications to run it. You think you can keep an eye out for someone who knows about distribution and can run a general store? Oh, that's a good thought. Rito can fly around, so they should be able to retrieve and deliver supplies. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in Sun. Find a Rito with know-how to manage a shop and the connections to set up trade. I think there was somebody in Rito Village who, or Rito Town, that uh, fit this description. I have vague memories. I'll take a quick hop over there and see. Um, but I will be back in a couple of seconds. Once one one moment now, and I'm back. But yeah, I, I can almost guarantee this is going to end with uh, Ronson marrying Hudson. And the thing that makes that hilarious is the fact that Hudson, well, Hudson looks a lot like the Carpenters from Ocarina of Time. And he's got a thing, a little notepad, kind of spazzing out on his belt. Anyway.
But yeah, Hudson looks an awful lot like the Carpenters from Ocarina of Time, and the main thing with the Carpenters, when you were adult Link, um, they ended up getting kidnapped by the Gyarado. And the reason they were there in the first place is because, well, you know, well, A, they needed to build the bridge, I think, and B, they were all rather obsessed with them. So, after all these centuries, one of them finally hooks up with the Gyarado. Maybe. That's just my theory as to what's going to happen. I am freezing in my wrestling togs. For some reason, I think there was a, like, a Gyarado child that, uh, had an interest in being a traitor. Hey! Hey! Swallow bow, five bundles of wood, and a diamond. Diamonds, man. Diamonds are apparently required for all of the fancy shit. Outfit's so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, hey, you have a quest for me. <laughs> Kiel, or yes, Kiel. Kiel, where are you? Oh, hold on. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> I can't find Kiel anywhere. Where could she be? Maybe she went to Warbler's Nest to practice her singing. Well, that's so far away. Could she have made it there on her own? Oh, I'm so worried. Well, seeing as how I just happened across it, and I am... I am in the business of trying to finish more side quests. I guess that's Warbler's Nest there. You know, while I'm at it, let's break out the Master Sword and uh, chop down some more trees. Because guaranteed I'm going to need more wood for all this. Bear! Ah! Keys! Crap. Yeah, because the keys is the most threatening thing. Ah, hell, that's close enough. Oh, a member of the Ego Clan. I could have used those rupees. And I could have eaten those bananas. <laughs> Let's just be able to pick up a cork leaf. Never know when it might come in handy. Light range, Hebrew mountain climbing path. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I understand. I don't think I've actually come this way before. 
No, I've been up to Warbler's Nest before. There's just nothing really going on up here at the top. Tree didn't know if it wanted to fall. Master Sword is running low on energy because I've been misusing it again. Okay, that's uh, good enough, I think. Young Rito woman, are you up here? <laughs> yeah. My sisters are dumb dummies. They promised we'd rehearse together, but no one showed up. We have to perform our song for the Elder at Warbler's Nest. We're going to be laughed off the stage. <gasps> hey, you. You look like I can use you. Excuse me? That is to say, you look like a nice guy who likes to help people in need. Well, I am the masked hero, I guess. Can you go tell my sisters in Rito Village to stop ditching rehearsal? They won't listen to me, but they might listen to a scary-looking Hillian like you. You just told me I look nice! Although Genli might be a tough sell. Probably in the kitchen yelling, huh? I want some salmon munier! Or something like that. She doesn't want to sing, either. She's such a pain. Well, may as well take the easy way and just fast travel over there. <laughs> And I'll run around and try to convince her sisters to go over there, and while I'm at it, see if I can find that Rito I'm looking for. It might not even be here. Although I didn't I don't remember seeing a lot of Rito elsewhere other than here. Cause there's one in the Oasis and there's one in Gerado Town. You found Keel? So she's at Warbler's Nest after all. <laughs> she really had me worried. Thank you for letting me know. Please, take this for your trouble. Nice! I feel much better now knowing where she is. Thank you. Though, you know, I'm sure she's safe despite the fact I ran into a giant bear, a bunch of undead creatures, and a member of a team of assassins. Though, admittedly, he was there to kill me, so you don't need to worry about it. They go and find her eldest sister, Knots, second eldest sister, Kotz, third eldest sister, Genli, and fourth eldest sister, Cree, somewhere in Rito Village. Tell them to meet Keel. Yeah. Morning! Be peaceful yeah. once again, seems like everyone in the village is thinking about going on vacation. <laughs> Oh, maybe that's why there aren't so many of uh, the Rito elsewhere. They were too afraid to leave the damn place. Aww. Aren't you going to say good morning to me? Nope. Aww. Yep, sleepy. <laughs> I'm not ready to say good morning yet. Oh yeah, it's that guy. Wake up, kid. 
or not. Oh yeah, big owl dude. Morning, morning. Okay. Oh yeah, that, that was the lady who's obsessed with the apples. And whose relationship is sort of on the rocks, if I remember correctly. You can't give her enough baked apples, I guess. I'm on the hunt for several little girls. Wait, no, that sounds bad. Oh, there's Genli. Hurry, hurry! I need some Mun <laughs> Munier in my belly. I know Kiel wants me to practice singing with her, but I just can't. Not until I get my Salmon Munier. Sister's already left to get Salmon Munier ingredients. I told them I wouldn't sing until I get it. I didn't expect them to actually make it for me, though. So you're the reason why none of them showed up? Well, we know who the, uh, the alpha bitch of the sisters is now, don't we? I don't want to practice singing, but I really do want some yummy Salmon Munier. Of course, maybe I'm being too harsh on her. Maybe maybe I should be more harsh on her parents. Maybe they don't feed her. It's taking my sister so long. I thought they were just going to the Slippery Falcon. To the mountains. Oh, could you be the one who aided Teba? Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for doing that. Oh. The nerve of that beast really ruffles my feathers. Anyway, I imagine we'll be off on another adventure soon, huh? Oh. <laughs> Are you planning on going someplace? <laughs> so, where am I? <laughs> Link in this intense memory loss. Oh, there's Cree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bought some goat butter. Hmm? Rehearsal? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> if I give you this goat butter, will you make some salmon munier for Genli? She should be in the kitchen. She said she won't sing until she's eaten. Uh -huh. Our older sister, Knotts, is probably practicing her song somewhere up high. Kotz left to catch some hearty salmon. Mm. She's probably fishing at the pond near the entrance to the village. So I need to track them all down to get the ingredients and make the thing. Yeah, okay. Hi. Hey there. Morning. Oh. That unmistakable, slightly acrid scent. You have some flint on you, don't you? Okay, sure. Uh. Thanks. This promise, here's your payment. Oh yeah, the, the, that's her husband, who needs to basically keep her swimming on baked apples, or she'll leave him, basically. <laughs> Such a healthy relationship they have. <gasps> Fison! Oh. Hey, morning! I'm glad Meadow was settled down, but I have bigger problems. My mom said she wants me to take over the family store someday. Can you believe that? I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Mm. But I don't want to compete with mom. I wish there was a place I could set up my own shop. Okay, I thought it was one of the younger uh, Rito, but it was a younger Rito. Bird of Terrytown? Terrytown? Tell me more. See, now I'm just envisioning that Link convinces everybody to move to Terrytown in a luchador wrestling match. Which would be amazing. It'd be kind of like the uh, the awesome sumo wrestling minigame in Twilight Princess. So they're in need of a general store. That's perfect! But the Akala region, it's pretty far out there. But I guess I've got to leave the nest someday. And to have my own store. <laughs> okay. I made up my mind. I'm going. 
I know. I'll gather some items on the way to Terrytown and then sell them at my new shop. Uh. Thanks for the tip. And hey, don't be a stranger. Come visit me at my new home soon. Or sometime. I like how they feel as if they need to tell me to visit them, despite the fact I am the one who more or less founded the town. Okay, so the pond... the pond is down that way somewhere. Ah, oh, there you are. Hiya! Hiya! I'm fishing for hearty salmon. Hmm? What are you doing here? What? Rehearsal? Ah! I totally forgot! I was too focused on catching these fish. Keel's gonna kill me. Please take this hearty salmon and go make some salmon munier for Genli. Oh, please, she'll feel like singing after she has some. Okay, now, I was told that the last remaining sister is somewhere up high. I don't suppose that could mean she's up underneath the beast, does it? <laughs> I suppose there's one way to find out. Because that's pretty much as high as you can get. That's why she might be on one of the pillars nearby. Of course, this is providing I don't frickin' freeze to death before I find her. No, I don't think she's up here, though. There's nothing up here but the beast. Hey, is that another shrine over there? Crap! That is another shrine over there. Hmm. Oh, this is... this here is interesting. What is this? Probably another, uh, Korok. And the Master Sword hasn't recharged yet. Yeah, let's use this thing. the places you find these weird little plant bastards. Yeah, ha ha! Yep, yep. Yeah, that is another shrine. I don't remember seeing that one before, though. Somehow I missed it. Uh, let's change that to this. Although I must have seen it, because I went by it, apparently.
Okay, let's go talk to the other sister in the kitchen and see, uh, well, the general good store, I should say. See if I can find... more info. Okay, yeah, so let's, let's let's see if I can get some more info where that last sister is. So she's up high, but that's not exactly very descriptive. Somewhere up high, practicing her songs. Let's head back to the top. Oh, that's just Molly. Oh yeah, another shrine quest that I haven't uh, figured out just yet. She's not over there with her mother. And they should be within the confines of Rito Village, so I shouldn't have to go too far to find her, I would hope. Can the mother give me any more information? Kind of a nuisance that they don't give me any more info to go on. Let's go, uh... Unless maybe she's up here. This is technically part of Rito Village, after all. No, that's a cork. Do you know how to sing? Maybe I can substitute you instead. I'm sure no one will notice the difference. Just flap your arms real hard and pretend you can fly. Can you give me any more info as to where your sister is? Hi. My oldest sister loves high places. That's... All you can tell me. This entire place is a high place. <laughs> so the only thing I can think is either she's on one of the outcroppings on the central spire, or she's on one of the other... spires. Like, maybe she's over on that one. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna do some climbing and see. And of course, if I'm going to do some climbing, I better break out the climbing togs. Luchador, no more.
Okay, so for a start, I think I'll just scale the central spire here and see if I can find her on one of the outcroppings. If not, I'll check one of the surrounding spires. Because she's got to be within the confines of the town. Problem is, there's so many nooks and crannies around the town. I don't know why it's only just occurring to me now, but their houses are like giant bird cages. Why am I only noticing this now? I don't see anybody over there, but that doesn't mean anything. I might not be close enough to see her if she is. Not careful, I may also run out of stamina before I get up here, but we'll see. I do have impressive amounts of stamina nowadays, so... Okay, there's one large outcropping that she left that she might be on. I was mistaken. This is not a large outcropping. Not at all. I did, however, find a Korok. Yeah, so there's a spire there, there's a spire there, there's a spire there, but I don't think she's on top of that one. How oh, the hell with it? Let's, uh, let's investigate. Although it would seem to me as if she'd be on the closest one to the town, which would mean this one, perhaps. Or, you know, I can be woefully mistaken. Or maybe she actually is on the one that the uh, cork was inside of because there's a ledge over there. Not really, though. Oh, okay. Ah, you little bird girl! Random rusty halberd. Hoot -hoo.
Okay, because I honestly do want to do this one, and because the instructions as to where this last one is are so goddamn vague, I think I'm going to cheat the system a little bit and actually look it up. Because this is the kind of quest I don't really have a lot of patience for, to be honest. Oh, apparently I was on the right track, I just needed to, uh... Well, I was kind of on the right track anyway, I had to go as high as I possibly can via the stairs, and then I'd hear singing? I don't recall hearing any singing, though. Of course, it's getting late, so... You know, these children are out so far, so long past their bedtime. Oh wait, I hear it now. There you are! La li la 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 I call that song, Return of the Bird Wrangling Hero, First Movement. Thank you for listening. What? Singing rehearsal, uh, singing rehearsal of Warbler's Nest, I didn't forget. Except you all stayed in town all day and your sister has been out in the wilderness all... You know. Till night time, apparently. Just that Genli really wanted some salmon munier. So my sisters and I have been looking for ingredients and then you all got distracted. I finished early so I was practicing here to kill time. I feel bad we left Kiel waiting though. I really should head over to rehearsal. Well then, I guess I'll give the Tabantha wheat to you. Please make the best salmon munier for Genli. She says she can't sing on an empty stomach, but I'm pretty sure that's just an excuse. Okay, so it was wheat, fish, and butter, I believe. Here's your frickin' food! Well, here will be your frickin' food as soon as I make it. Hearty <laughs> Sam Munier! Kinda wanna keep it for myself. That amazing smell! Could it be? <laughs> S salmon Munier! You're gonna let me have some, right? I'm pretty sure Munier is a French word, so why is that in Hyrule? <laughs> Questions that we don't need answered, I guess. No, it's all mine. Enjoy. <laughs> Time to dig in! Nom 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 nom. Mm, I'm stuffed. Hmm? My promise to my sisters. I suppose I shouldn't break my promise. I really do like singing, but I am too nervous to sing in front of other people. I have serious stage fright. 
But maybe practicing with my sisters will help me feel more comfortable. Anyway, thank you for the amazing salmon muniere. It was so soft and flaky and delicious. I'll give this re rehearsal my all. Well, let's head on over and listen, I guess. The birds are freaking out, man! Are you all here? You are! You're all wizards! With your colorful musical notes. All this singing is making me hungry. You just ate! Oh, thank you so much. All of my sisters are here. Now we can rehearse here at Warbler's Nest. Want to know what song we're singing? Well, the Elder told me. It's a song passed down in the Rideau Village that was once sung at Warbler's Nest in ancient times. If you didn't know, Warbler's Nest is the big stone platform with the pillars behind us. The lyrics don't make a lot of sense, but there's one line in particular that always catches my ear. When wind convinces the rocks to sing, Open the monk's door. Open the monk's door. Will swing. What do you think that means? What's a monk? Oh, I almost forgot. I got you a little something. Just a small thanks for bringing all my sisters here. Ta-da! A cork leaf. Hey, your inventory is overflowing. You should toss any melee items you don't need. Except I've already got a cork leaf. Thank you. Oh, wait, no, no, I think I see what needs to be done here. They need to be done in order. Matching the song that they're whistling, of course. Wait. Did I do that incorrectly? Oh wait, no, I need to... Okay, so blue... Okay, yeah, yeah, I need to do it in this order. So it's gotta be four, 
five, three, one, two. Four, five, three, one, two. Four. Five. Three. One. And at last, two. Perfect. And now this is going to scare the bejesus out of them. Wow! Hey look, guys! Is that weird looking house hall? Was that weird looking house always there? Oh. No, that's that shrine thing the elder was talking about. Ah. So cool. Who knew Warbler's Nest was keeping a secret like that? Huh? Let's tell Mom. Huh? Yeah, let's. <laughs> See you later. That's when the mom is an unhatched egg. Ready, set, go! <laughs> fly, fly, fly. Now that we've dealt with that shena those uh, shenanigans. Ooh, Lotus Shrine. Which, no doubt, is already solved for me, because it was just, you know... Holy crap, it, I, I, I would have expected it was a puzzle thing. Like, I mean, that that was a... Sl well, not slightly difficult, but... I mean, it might, you know, you could consider it to be a puzzle, and it was somewhat difficult, at least. As opposed to the, uh... One down in the desert where I had to tell that lady her drink was waiting for her, which was dead simple. And then I had to do no challenge whatsoever. This one, though, is like, nah, nah, go through the trouble finding all the... All the, all the sisters, and then, you know, figure out the order you need to blow the cork leaf through the stones. And now here's a puzzle for you. Because these monks are assholes. Oh, crap! Yeah, these monks are assholes! <laughs> oh, I get it. The winding route. Winding wind. Oh, shit. <laughs> I let go too soon. And that was too much of a drop off. Okay, so I just need to s keep the the glider open then, or do I?
Okay, yeah, just do that and avoid the spikes, obviously. Oh boy, a key. And I'll bring him back over there, but what do we have up here? More treasure! Ooh, a flame blade. My inventory is full, I think not! But yeah, these monks are dicks. Just, just thought I'd throw that out there. I don't have anything hiding behind you, do you? No? Okay. That's good. That's good. Oh good, I have enough of them to uh, make an offering to the statue. Which, there's one in Terrytown, so I guess I'll go to Terrytown and do it there. There was also one in Rito Village, but I... I gotta come back sometime and check out the other shrine that apparently I, I walked by but haven't activated yet. However, I need to do that. I don't think I'll bother with that right now, though. I mean, it is right over there. Uh, I suppose it won't hurt to take a quick look. It's my horse, which I haven't used in God knows how long. See, clearly there's a shrine here. How do I activate it? There's gotta be something nearby. This ruin, maybe? Like there's anything here other than a bunch of bacoblins. It's entirely possible that Hinox may have something that I need, or maybe I need to kill it. Although, have I already killed that Hinox? I did. I've already killed that Hinox. There's no other reason why it would have been in there. Hmm. I don't know. Unless, of course, I've already opened a sh No, there isn't really a shrine nearby, though. 
I'll have to investigate that some other time. I don't want to deal with it right now. Instead, let's head back to... Terrytown. I'm gonna need to take out some more Bokoblins too. I think I need their guts for certain armor enhancement. Speaking of armor enhancement, before I drop into Terrytown, I think I'll drop by and see that fairy and see what I need to uh, increase <clears throat> other gear that I may have. She's right over there. The oft-neglected Great Fairy. Hey, lady! Ready to help! Ah, you've come here again? Okay, let me see your clothes. Oh, white choo-choo uh, jelly. That's what I need for that. What about this stuff? Luminous stone and Bokoblin guts, that's about what I figured. Well, luminous stone anyway, I didn't realize I needed Buko the uh, Bokoblin guts. Which I think I need for something else, the Hillian stuff, yes? Yeah, the Hillian hood, which is the last piece of that I need. So, I, I gotta go slaughter me some more Bokoblins. I need more white choo-choo jelly. Mm. I wonder if this stuff combined would give me some form of set bonus. Alas, I am missing just one Bokoblin gut that I'd be able to tell. That's enough for now. I cannot thank you enough. Tell me you need our power, we'll be waiting. She's not as creepy as some of the others, to be honest. Although, of course, she still molests Link every time they, uh, you know, upgrade things, so. Creepier or no, they're still a bit handsy. Oh, I am nearly out of stamina. Oops. <laughs> I should have enough to make it. I do! Barely, but I do! Hey, who the hell are you? You weren't here before. Also, there's a dog. Also, he doesn't have a house. Stamina! Make me more good at running. And such. Bonk. Who the hell are you? Anari. Oh, good morning! And who might you be? No one important. Oh, is that so? By the way, I don't suppose you came to Terrytown to purchase a holiday home, did you? Um, no. Oh, is that so? Anyway, please be careful. My husband is taking great care of this area. But there seem to be a lot of strange folks just outside town. What? Yes, yes. Any strange things? 
Strange plants and guys with ugly faces live just outside the village. There are a lot of them, right? Especially the big flower it's to the southeast of Terry. You're talking about the fairy fountain. I was chatting with my husband about how there's a huge flower out there. You really shouldn't mess with things you don't understand. And I guess the guy with strange faces is probably Kilton. Hey! You managed to find a Rito and bring him back here. Thank you. He wasted no time setting up a general store, uh, getting a general store up and running. Apparently his family runs one too. With a name like Fison, he'll fit right in. He's selling things that he's picked up while flying around. You should really go check out the store. Mm. Well, next is... So before we can call more people here, we need more homes, 50 bundles of wood, okay. Oh, he sells a bunch of uh, arrows. Like, every type of arrow. That's nice. Oi! Oh, hey! What can I get you? Hey. Hey! It's been a while. <laughs> Remember me? Fison? After I left Rito Village, some bandits tried to mug me. Lucky for me, they didn't have wings. Terrytown is really great. Nice weather, no moms to annoy me. <laughs> it's really great being able to run my own shop and sell th the things I want to sell, which are apparently arrows and, for some reason, gears. Anyway, I'm over for business, so shop to your heart's content. <laughs> Oh, there's her husband. I was going to say, where's this husband on which she speaks? Mugs. It's gotten warm, hasn't it? Oh, what do we have here? Looks like we have another young'un in town. I'm called Mugs. My son has grown up and I'm retired. So when I heard a rumor about Terrytown, I just had to move here. And I'm glad I did. My pets seem much happier here, too. Anyway, come back and chat with me again sometime. Where's your family? My wife and I had a son who set out into the world to find his own way. The house feels a little empty without him around, but at least it's helped me and my wife get closer together. The people living across from us fight night after night. Sometimes I think about sneaking around back and listening, but I also don't want to be so nosy. My wife? She's probably wandering around town right now, I'd imagine. Like, over there. She's a really gifted chef. Her mushroom skewer is out of this world. If you've got some time, you should definitely go and talk to her. Oh, I'm talking about the animals that live behind my house. My wife and I both love animals. <laughs> the air feels really clean out here, and they seem to love it. I'm glad we moved out here. Okay, so there were people actually moving into town, and I didn't notice. Well, now I have to investigate all these houses, don't I? Especially that one over there that apparently has the fighting couple. There will be no... thing. There will be no domestic disputes in Terrytown! There we go, that's the word I was looking for. Mm, stew. Although I think this is their house, so I guess there'd be no one there. So who the hell is living in this house that I haven't seen them yet? Oh. Hello. Do you need something from me? Our daughter has been in poor health lately. My husband believed that moving here could help, so we bought a house. <laughs> I do like it here. The air is clean. There aren't too many people. Despite my husband's determination, I wasn't sure if a move was a good idea. 
but our daughter is slowly improving. The only thing left is for her appetite to return. I'm sure she'd get well faster if she ate more. Uh, uh, at night, I've got to ask Papa for advice again. Papa? Hi! Hi! Are you a traveler? You could say that. Is it fun? It's pretty fun. I see. I get to kill so many things! I see. When I grow up, I want to go out all by myself. So where is this husband of yours? I guess I'm gonna have to sneak around back of their place and eavesdrop later on. That'll be a thing for me to do some other time, though. That's, uh... That's enough of this for today, I think. Getting pretty hungry myself, speaking of food, so I may have to go grab a bite to eat. So. Uh, we've made some progress in Terrytown and handled a few different side quests, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Next time, well, next time I stream, it probably won't be this this time, I swear. But, um... Next time I stream this... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll start doing the Champion's Ballad, or maybe I'll just traipse around trying to do more things with Terrytown and clue up a few more side quests. Maybe I'll do that. I'd like to get as much finished as I possibly can before I fight Ganon. Though, pretty soon I'm probably going to bite the bullet and just, well, after the Champion's Ballad DLC and maybe trying to do the Trial of the Sword again, I might bite the bullet and go see if I can take the guy out. However... It's a decision to be made next time. Until then, if you happen to stop by to watch, as always, I thank you very, very much for doing so, and hopefully I will see you fine folks next time, whenever that will be and whatever I may do. So until then, I wish you a farewell. <laughs>